Every road, lane, highway, even the artificial lake was designed by one person. Well, technically two, but I'll get to that in a bit. I recently visited this place, and it all felt so quiet. What sets this city apart is that it was designed for a specific purpose. I'm talking about Canberra, Australia, designed in 1912 by Walter Burley Griffin, and it's one of the few fully planned cities in the world. There were 137 other suggested designs for the city, so what sets this one apart? 1901, Australia, and Oz just became its own country, yay. And the question arises, where do we make our capital? It really came down to two cities, there wasn't much anywhere else. Sydney or Melbourne. Both cities wanted to become the capital of Australia, and nobody could decide which one it would be. This debate is still kinda happening online right now, I mean damn these comments are cold. They ended up compromising between what the two wanted. I mean literally, they settled between the two cities. And so we need to build a new city, and a design competition was born. Architects from around the world would submit their design and the government would build the best one. Some of the designs submitted are actually really interesting. Like look at this one, that imagined Canberra a lot smaller without this lake. Or this crazy one that looks like a European town with a church kind of thing? They of course ended up with Griffin's design, but remember how I said, well technically too, but I'll get to that in a bit. Well it's been a bit, and it's time to talk about the second person that helped design Canberra Australia. Her name was Marion Mahoney Griffin, Walter's wife, and even though she doesn't come up when you google who designed it, without her these plans wouldn't have happened. Her life is honestly really interesting, like how she was the second woman to graduate from MIT and one of the first female architects in the world. She was employed by Frank Lloyd Wright, and her beautiful watercolour renderings of the buildings and landscapes became known as a staple of Wright's style, but of course she was never given credit by him. Later, after marrying Walter, her landscape paintings were instrumental to his Canberra design being chosen something sadly often overlooked. So that's how Canberra was conceptualized, designed, and built. It's a simpler story, but an interesting one nonetheless. If you want to find out how entire shipwrecks are being stolen, that video is on the left. Or how soy sauce made four billion dollars, that one's on the right. Subscribe.